This 10th day of February is the feast of Saint Scholastica, twin sister of Saint Benedict. The two are very close. In fact, their religious communities were only five miles apart. It's believed Saint Benedict directed his sister and her nuns by the same rule his monks lived. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday evening. I'm Brian Patrick. Well, Catholics from around the country make their voices heard on Capitol Hill today. They're here to talk to members of Congress and their staff. Jason Calvi was there with them. They might need directions to navigate the tunnels under the U.S. Capitol. But this group of Catholics from Southern California knows exactly where they're going. I think there are some 50, 60 million Catholics in the, in the country. That's a, lot, that's a huge percentage of the population of the country. They want to know where the church is, uh, stance is. Talking about Francis Jante's father marched with Martin Luther King Jr. And that has influenced her life. I can empathize with the people, the immigrants now, and uh, they're fighting for just dignity, really. She's one of hundreds of Catholics from around the country who have come to D.C. to discuss the church's teaching on social issues. The Catholic Social Ministry Gathering. Today they're bringing up issues important to them with lawmakers. And immigration reformation is one of the top priorities uh, in California. But there's one issue not on their agenda. How come uh, the issue of abortion is not being addressed today by this delegation? What would you say to them? Sergio Lopez of Catholic Relief Services says today, on this trip to Congress, the group is focusing on other issues. We're one church, you know, we're one church, and we have many things that we care about. And I was really happy to see, as a matter of fact, last year, last month, the, the March for Life. And I'm told the advocates did address the HHS contraceptive mandate in their visits to Congress last year. The Bishop's Conference tells me abortion is addressed at other times of the year, including during the March for Life, Brian. All right. Thank you, Jason.